Hello there everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Armo and I'm reviewing from January through mid-November it is now, 2018. It's hard to believe the year is almost over. So this is the Stock Swoosh 2018 Trading Room Tracking. If you were in the room all year this year, I'm going to review next the winners and the losers for the percentage of win ratio. And it's, it's been a good year. So if you'd like more information, you can email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com or call me at 929-3200-GAP. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, or Skype. If you decide you want to trade the market, it's an independent activity. So you do have to feel confident about your abilities and yourself and you're empowering yourself to trade because it's up to you. The amount of money that you make in the market is really based on you. So you have to set yourself up for the greatest chances that you have for success. And if you, if you don't do that, then you're gonna lose. So how do you do that? Educate yourself, focus, and follow a good mentor. I think that's a good way to start. So the year started out in January, uh, pretty good. First week of the year here with two winners. And then second week, again, there's four quarterly earnings seasons. If you, if you trade gaps, that's what I do. So you have the four earnings seasons that have the most gaps, the most picks, okay? And then there's the in-between periods. You still get trades, but you get more, more trades in earnings season, just so you know that. More, more picks, more ticker symbols to look at more quality, bigger moves typically, okay? So then you had uh, the eighth play was a winner, DKS was a loser, Urban was a loser, AYI was a winner. You can tell the days that were good or hard. Good days, one ticker symbol. SVU was a winner, no trades, GME was a winner on the 12th. Room was closed on the 15th for the holiday. Then there was a winner the rest of the week, no trades on the 18th. Every day this week was a winner. Every day this week was a winner. And then starting February, no trades, SWKS was a winner, CMG was a winner, Tima was a loser, and then HBI was a winner. EXP took two shots. Sometimes I do something called a retake. You'll learn that in the class. Uh, EXP first trade was a loser, second one winner. Then going into second week of February, no trades, room closed. It was a holiday there. Then SPY was a loser, CAR was a loser, FOSA was a winner, NTAP winner, true winner. Room closed on the 19th, WMT was a loser, WMT was a winner. Again, retake, you learned that in the class. Winners the rest of the week. I just love it when there's a first quick one. I mean, love it. 26, DF was a winner, SPY was a winner, two trades, Dizzy was a winner on the 27th. Low and TSR was a loser and CLG was a winner. MNST was a winner, Foot Locker was a winner going into March. Another winning week here, start out March. And then, no trades on the 12th. Mondays are the slowest days. I mean, if I had to pick a day, I mean, say Mondays is definitely the slowest. And then, <laughs> excuse me, the middle of the week is the busiest, where you get the most things. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Spy was a loser. QCOM was a loser. G was a winner. SIG was a winner. BAB a winner. TIFF winner. This is March. Facebook winner. Oracle was a loser. Facebook was a winner. Facebook was just a short so many times this year. Love was a winner. TP Day Off, QQQs was a loser, WDC was a winner. Starting out then April, ALTH was a loser, UA was a winner. No trades, no trades, TV Day Off, SPY loser, SPY winner. No trades, 9th and 10th. 11 SPY loser, Qs winner, FAST winner, BBBY, nice winner on the 12th. Z loser, WFC loser, WFC winner. And then WFC was a loser the 16th, no follow through. Netflix was a winner on the 17th. IBM, nice winner on the 18th, PG winner on the 19th, 20th. TV Day out the 23rd, AKRX was a loser. Two trades, that just didn't work. A was a winner, MMM was a loser, second trade winner, A was a winner then, follow through day. Win was a winner on the April, T was a winner, eBay winner, 27th, no trades. Then the 30th, ARNC was a winner. May CMI was a loser, STX loser, LO winner. Snap was a winner, it was a good one. Again, we're in May, CAH loser, AIG winner, FLR winner, TSCM loser, CTSH winner, HTZ was a winner, a WMT took two shots, first trade loser, second trade winner, EXCL was a winner, and no trades in the 11th. XRX was a winner, VIPS loser, PM winner, M winner, Cisco loser, second trade winner, WFC winner, and CPB winner. WFC was a shorter lot this year now, I'm thinking about it. This stock is just horrible looking right now. 
May 21st, no trades. Tall winner, target loser, target loser, target winner. That was a rough one there, the 23rd. 24th, AGNC was a loser. BBY was a winner. Phil Lucker, winner, two. One. That was a nice one on the 25th. And then Memorial Day off, NKTR in June winner. CCL loser, Starbucks winner, AMBA winner, SJM loser, LRCX huge winner. Spy loser in this 8th. Day off on the 11th, no trades the 12th, HRB loser T winner, and Oracle winner on the 14th. Then getting ramped up here into the holiday week, spy winner, no trades, by loser, and then a winner, Starbucks winner, AOBC loser, WM team loser, Starbucks winner, RHT loser, RHT winner, again, retake required, sticking to the conviction. CCL winner on the 25th, no trades on the 26th. 27th CAG loser and WBA took two shots on the 28th. Then off for the holiday, PEP winner on July 10th, SPY loser and winner on the 11th, LB winner on the 12th, WFC winner on the 13th. 16th day off, Netflix loser just did not work. Just totally did not work on the 17th. 18th MS winner, UAL winner, eBay was a good one on the 19th in July. SKX loser, G winner on the 20th. 23rd off, SPY winner, GM winner, Facebook loser, Facebook winner, and Twitter winner on the 27th. And then Ella was a winner on the on the 31st. August was a good month. Cake winner, trip, SYMC, DBX, QQQs. One loser on HD on the 14th. Q's winner and winner. I mean, just good start to the month. Then the 16th WNT pulled it around after the second trade. DF loser, aim out loser. Aim out just did not work. That was a bad day. The 17th Q's was good, but failed. Sometimes it just failed. There's no reason. EL was a loser. SPY was a winner. ETFC was a loser. HPO was a winner. Target loser, target winner. And then LB was a winner on the 23rd. GPS was a good one on the 24th. No trades, 27th. Took two retakes. The SPY was a good one on the 28th, but it took two shots. DKS loser, AO winner. Two TV days off. Room closed for the Labor Day. No trade in the 10th. Baba loser, Apple winner. No trades. Care winner. Spy loser. No trades. FDX winner. I mean, you can see here how I'm not doing that many things. I mean, that's the that's the one positive. We don't we don't trade oh a million things a day. 919. No trades. RHT loser. Q's winner. Unify loser. Unify winner. Again, another retake. Stick to the conviction. Sometimes it really pays off. No trades in the 24th. Facebook loser, CTO winner, Nike loser, IBM winner, BBY was a good one in September. Facebook winner, Tesla loser. That's been insane to trade, actually. SFIX was a winner. Senex was a winner. No trades on the fourth. And then October was a really good month. Cost was a winner. KR was a winner. Fast was a loser, but the Qs were a winner. Spy was a loser. Second trade worked. No trades, no trades. Qs was a winner. IBM took two shots. Winner. On the second one, big one. Then a second day follow through. Spy loser, Apple winner, MM took two shots, and again, that one worked really well, too. T was a winner, no trades, WDC was a winner, TBD off, ACAM loser, and again, going after it again, ACAM winner. DDD DDD was a winner on the last day of the month, and October was a good month. November, break even, just killed it in ECA, and it ended up going on to work as a winner, to be honest with you, it never stopped out. Debbie was a loser, Q was a winner, TBD off, SYY, easy winner of the fifth. Car was a loser, Spy was a winner, Mar was a winner on the 6th, Z, the first one just killed too quickly and then it was a winner, second one was a loser, Coors was a loser, and then the market was a huge trade this two days, Win was a loser, CTRP was a winner two days in a row, Yelp was a loser, and all in all, if you roll through the whole thing, 76 losers so far for the year, and 158 winners, so the win ratio is 68%. That is extremely high. And I'm telling you, it's the focus and it's the conviction. And really, you shouldn't have some crazy commissions because we're not over trading. So I teach a class that's called the Golden Gap Course. It's a full two-day course on how to strategically find, pick, and place stocks that are professional bearish gaps. Class is online. You can be anywhere in the world and take it. Cost of the class is $59.99 US dollars. Email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com if you want to sign up or info at thestockswoosh.com if you want to sign up. You really, really benefit from being in the trading room if you do my class and then sign up for the room. Now, 
There are people that are trading alone, that's true. But the people that are in the room are the ones that are getting the benefit of hearing my pick and the top pick every day. And even though it costs money to be in the room, people find it worthwhile. Now, when I do an offer where I do the room free with the class like I'm doing for the Black Friday, don't miss out on that. It gives you the first year after the class in the room for free, and then you can go trade off on your own or pay for the class. And by in one year's time, you would be ramped up and you would know if you want to trade alone or if you want to be in the room and you find it beneficial. But you would definitely learn a lot and get all my calls for an entire year like this. So it's, it's not the end of the year yet. It's close to it. But it really has been a very good 2018. So if you have any questions, again, email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com or info at thestockswoosh.com. Have a great day, everyone.